Hi guys, this is Rashid and welcome back. So today I would like to show you another interesting project that you can use with the AT Card Basic. So the AT Card Basic is our standard robot platform which can help you to start your robot project easily. Some of you guys might just want to focus on the algorithm or your high level application. So you just want something that can run and it just work out of the box. And it's kind of troublesome if you need to make everything from scratch if you just want to test some kind of algorithm. So our AT card basic is just work out of the box. You can just grab the radio transmitter and then control it right away once you plug on the battery. And of course you can control it by the computer by sending the ROS command, the command velocity. So even your program crash, you can take control all the time to prevent it hit something. So it's quite safe, but it still challenge yourself to use this medium sized robot to use with the real application. So for today, I'm going to show you how we're going to use the AI image segmentation with this AT card basic. So let's get started. So here, this is our standard AT card basic system. The overall dimension of this AT card is uh, 60 by 60 centimeter and the height of 30 centimeter. So you can control the robot with the Futaba controllers or any uh, radio controller which can have the S bus. So, but we suggest to use the Futaba. And inside of this controller box is the just a Nano with the J app. And we are using this GLINet mobile router for the wireless robot development. And there is a 5 volt DC DC converter to convert the 6 cell uh, battery into the 5 volt for Jetson and the Wi Fi router. In the package, there will be no repo battery. So you will need to find it on your local battery shop. And for today's demonstration, we're going to use the AI image segmentation. So I will need to attach the camera in the front here. So it's going to see the front area and try to drive to the open space. Okay guys, before we do it on the real robot, let's brief up what we're going to do. So on the AT card basic, I'm using the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. So the AI segmentation that I'm going to use for today is from the Jetson Inference. So there's a uh, many uh, model that you can use like the Cityscape, Deep Scene and Multi-Human. But for today, um, I'm going to use this Sun RGBD with the uh, resolution of 512 400. So what I need is I want to segment the floor out of the image and trying to find the open space for the robot to let it go. So here's just some of the sample image after passing the segment. So you will see that it show us some of the floor as the green color and when there is some obstacle or some object, it will show as another color, but we pretty much don't care about that. So if there is anything in front of it or block it away, so it will try to recover by turning or going backward and then trying to find another open space again. So I'm going to just scan the, just the lower part to see how much of the green on the left side and how much of the green on the right side. But to scan all of the pixel in here is a little bit quite take some time. I'm just pick some the candidates of the line, the one pixel height and the width is the full. So I will scan all the pixel in this line to see that how much green on the left and how much green on the right. For the first line here, you will see that the green on the left is much more on the right side. That means I should let the robot go to the left side. But it's not a good idea to have only one scan line, so I, that's why I need to have uh, four lines. Then the second line is also pretty much the same as the first line. And for the third and fourth line, the green is pretty much the same, both left and right. That means I can find the average value like this. I'm going to do the average again from these four lines, then I can get the yellow star as shown in here. So once we get the star value here, we can convert this value into the robot turning. So if the star is on the left of the frame, it means that there is a pretty much open space on the left side. That means we should turn or steer the robot to that side. Similarly, if the star is on the right side, so meaning that the right side has more open space, so just steer the robot to the right side. So in the ideal case where the left and the right side have same green colors, so the star will be on the middle 
and that just make the robot go straight. Okay, so about what's going to happen on the robot. So on the 80 card basic, not just a nano, we're going to run three nodes. There is a 80 card basic which should come with the robot itself. So this one going to um, subscribe on the command velocity topic and then convert it to the command to drive the motors. The three nodes down here, the card control and the segnet and the set MQ viewer, it's the application nodes. Can be actually anything about your application. The card control is going to publish the command velocity. So it's going to um, subscribe to the segnet uh, topic from the segnet nodes. The segnet nodes is going to uh, open the camera and then grab the frame and do some segmentation and then output this topic to the card control. And in the same time, it's going to stream out the Max image. So I'm going to run the set MQ viewer from my PC and then uh, we can see the video streaming uh, in the real time. So if you want to know about what is the AT card basic node here, I really recommend you to check on my previous video. I will put the link over there. And that is how we can use this AT card basic platform with the AI image segmentation. Of course, it still requires more tuning and improve the algorithm to make the robot navigation work much better. The purpose of this demonstration is to show how we can use this AT card basic with your creative project. If you would like to use the AT card basic on your next project, please check on attractlab.shop.com. We are selling the AT card basic ROS set and the RC assemble set. And also there is some spare part like the J Moab and the frame and the combo kit which you can assemble everything from scratch. But I really recommend you the ROS assemble set because you just plug on the battery, turn on the Plopo and then you can just move the robot right away. If you like this kind of video, please press like and share button. That will help me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you soon.